Greetings, welcome to Air Goons. This is Aqua Chan. I'm going to show you how to start up the F-14B in the pilot seat. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our radio menu. We're going to contact the ground crew and we're going to turn on our air. Or maybe not. I said ground crew, air. I must be pushing the wrong button. There we go. We're also going to connect our ground power. So while he's doing that, I'm going to look down here. I like to do a left to right startup. This little switch down here is your pilot oxygen. You're going to put that on. We're going to look behind us. We're going to flip this little lever down. That's our ejection seat safety. Jester will complain at you and everything. It won't start up until you do that. So. Once our oxygen and our ejection seat is on, gonna flip this switch right here, the L and R. You can flip it to either L or R, doesn't matter. Whichever one you flip it to, you're gonna right click on that throttle to start it up. And while that's starting up, I'm going to flip these three switches right here for your stability controls. I'm also going to go ahead and turn on my radar altimeter right here. And I'm also going to take my regular altimeter off of standby by holding right click on it for a few seconds until the standby goes away. Now this switch right here for our engine select automatically goes back to the middle position when it's ready to go to the other one. So I'm going to left click on it to go to left and I'm going to right click on the other throttle to start the left engine. I'm going to move over to my right. I'm going to uncage my standby little thingy. That's the correct technical term for it by the way. I'm going to flip this switch right here down to TID so it uh, will repeat what the TID in the Rio seat is displaying. And I'm going to flip these three switches on to power up my HUD, my VDI, and my repeater. Next I'm going to move down here. I'm going to turn on the air source to both engines. These are your lights. This is your taxi light. You can flip that on. These are your in cockpit lights for your consoles and everything, except for this one right here is for your formation. I turn that all the way up. Turn my position wing tips to bright, my tail to bright. I'll leave them steady. And I also turn on my anti collision. Now, your master light switch you have to bind to something else. There's no switch on here for turning on your lights. So, right now they're all off. So, you'd have to hit whatever button you bound for your master lighting whatever you have it to to actually turn them on and these are your white and red floodlights in case it's dark in here and you want to see then what we're going to do is we're going to go back over here once everything's started up this is your wing sweep control we're going to left click and move that all the way forward right click it down bring it back up with another right click and then bring it all the way back as far as it'll go. It should stop right there. I'm going to right click to push it back down and we're going to close the cover. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to hit this master reset because our wing sweep will not move until we clear these uh, warning lights off. So we're going to do that. I'm going to hit the button I have bound for wing sweep auto okay it works I'm also gonna bring it back down to man because as you can see we are in a hangar so if I unsweep the wings right now chaos will probably ensue so Jester has turned has lowered the canopy and everything another thing you can do which is one of my practices is I always turn the master arm on even if I'm on the ground because I'm not gonna kill anybody anyway so we just sit here and we wait for our alignment to get done, which is the Rio's job. What you can do is you can go ahead and tell the ground crew to disconnect your power and disconnect your air supply. You don't have to, you can just start rolling when Jester's ready to go and then the ground crew will yell at you, but yeah, who cares about them? That's really all there is to the start up. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's turn on our radio. It's a switch right here. And this is one of the things that always bugs me is that 
for some reason hot starts and stuff always have it set to both and that puts it into guard mode as well just leave it on main that's fine right now it's hard to see but there's a one displayed there if you want to do manual you'll click this one over to manual instead of preset and then it's actually displayed and you use these little knobs right here 23 5 24 5 25 5 this will take the ones down this will do your uh, whatever they are yada 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 these over here are your volume controls for your either your RWR your sidewinder your intercom all that good stuff and while we're at it your intercom is this switch right here it's on cold you switch that that's a hot mic and of course radio override that's also hot mic but if you're flying to somebody it's best to leave it in cold so that way you actually have to press your push to talk button so they don't hear you eating your bag of Doritos you nasty fat nerd yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just end the video there because we are pretty much done and I will see you again when I go for the taxi and takeoff. Thanks for watching.